Well, we've still got very good memories of Dubai. We um, obviously won a, a championship over here, so it seems natural if it's going to be outside of India, then, then Dubai is the place. And it's, uh, it's a bit of glitz, a bit of glamour. Uh, but for us, it's very much, the, it doesn't matter where we are, it's all the same thing. Once we're in that auction room, it's been really calm and, and just sitting about getting the players we need. From an exciting day today, in the sense that uh, we have an auction coming up tomorrow where we have six slots available for the Chennai Super Kings and uh, I think we have three slots in, for the Indians and three for the foreigners. We are having discussions with our team management. Hopefully we are looking forward to a good, good auction. Fans are a massive part of CSK. That, that is part of our success is the fans that we have. So it, it, it makes sense to have the fans come along for the journey. There's going to be some people who like our selections. There's going to be some people who don't. But that's part of it. There's so many different combinations um, you can choose. There's so many great players that are available. Uh, and on the day, very much it's about getting players in the right price bracket. There's often plans where you have to, um, you have to pivot here and there because other teams want them as well. So a little bit of understanding as well. It doesn't always go to plan, um, but an appreciation that we're trying to build the team to, to win another title, which is really important to us and, and will be really important to the fans. CSK has always been treating uh the fans in a very fair way and and we are also what i can say is that that we are grateful to them because they have been following us over the years supporting us in all our even when we were not in the uh, uh, ipl for a couple of years they were behind us so and i am sure that we should give it back to them in the right way okay cricket wise we have been uh, consistent and in some way or other we have also got to help them out this is an occasion where BCCI has allowed the fans to come in. So we are happy to get the fans in, in the auction room. And I'm only hoping that they will also enjoy the auction. Yeah, you can't replace Rodu um, or, or a player like Ben Stokes. So you, you just go back to the game plan and say, well, what, what can we achieve with the, the hole that's there? Uh, and have a look at what players can replace. And you might have to just tweak the game plan a little bit. And even the game itself keeps moving on. So it's making sure that you are having a look at players that are doing well that maybe are into the auction for the first time or have been released and see, hey, do they fit in? Have a look at the history that players have had with us. We like players that have been involved with Chennai. Uh, and we just keep putting that together, piecing that together. How does it look? How can we cover those gaps? How can we add to some of the strengths that we had last year? And then it's a case of a little bit of luck during auction time. Uh, and then a little bit of the ability to think on our feet. If there's an opportunity to get someone we don't think that fits well, we'll do it. Replace Raidu, we don't have that experienced players in the list of uh, players available in the auction. Raidu or the replacement, yes, tough. And on the experience, identify from the younger lot. Whether there will be a success at that big level is a question mark, but we are quite confident that we will be able to unearth some talent. As far as Ben Stokes is concerned, yes, he is a big match player. He was not able to play all the games last year because of an injury. But I still feel that uh, since he is not going to be available for this year, we have to find a replacement. There are a lot of uh, all-rounders available in the auction, foreign, especially foreign all-rounders. But whether you will be get, able to get the choice you want is a question because most of the franchises have also got money. So we are only hoping that we will be able to get the kind of player CSK needs and we are a little bit worried whether we will be able to get the right person but we are confident that we should be able to spend money in the right way. So chocolates isn't it, you've got there's so many chocolates there that you, you love but you just have to pick one or two and that's what it's like, you, you're at the auction and you see these great players, some get sold cheaply and you oh you could have done with that or some get sold really expensive and oh we didn't see that happening. So you've got to stay really calm and, and try and be unemotional about that attachment to the players that you want. And again, stressing there's so many different combinations and ways you can go, but there's look, 10 other teams that are wanting the same thing. So they're trying to put together teams and depending on budgets and, and what you've got already, it can be a, a very nervous day. So understanding from fans and, and calmness from us is really important. There is one eye on the future, but you've got to be careful you don't stray away from the now and what's in front of us is another IPL with the same group of players or close to. What I'm surprised at is the amount of players that have been released for a third year. Usually it's quite small and it's just um, tweaking the squads. But some squads really have, have really um, thrown quite a lot of players out so there's 
I think a lot more players to choose from this year for a third year uh, and there's a lot more strategy around how can we get a team right for this year with a small view on the following year. We don't know how many um, retentions there are going to be. We, those are the unknowns. So dealing just with the fact that we need a, a good competitive team for this year um, and a strong core of Indian players is really important and that should set us up for years to come anyway. Alena na over auction over with the customer. In the version on the Panarge, Ana and the Panathic weather, we will be able to get the person we want. I don't know. Aduna the conjo tension arge, but at the same time, bigger auction lay no on the Seria Panirgo. So we are only hoping and quite confident that we have choices one, two, three for each slot. And the Mari, we will be able to get a binger or Nambikir Namalaga. I don't know doubt in that. But again, the question is, till we get, you are tensed. That is there. Scouting has really evolved. I think back to the early years, we ran camps and we were able to pick it, um, a, a lot of talent that was coming through. But as teams have become more developed and, and, and grown, they've become more sophisticated at, at how they're picking players. There's a lot of... Um, a lot of work done on analysis, a lot of statistics, but there's also a huge network of, of scouts and, and coaches who are looking on behalf of franchises, and we're, and we're part of that. So what has happened, it's now become really condensed. Most of the top talent is known, um, and then it's just a case of that they're gonna go for a little bit more in the, in the auction, and finding that, that, that gem that lies outside is a little bit more difficult, not to say it can't happen, um, but you're also, you're also picking players that you're still not sure are good enough at this level. There's a lot of hope sometimes for players that they've done well as a young player, but their transition into senior cricket still hasn't happened. So you're trying to find and look at the signs that, that you would think would make them a good player. And if you can get a, a good young player, um, like a Ruderaj, they'll stay with you hopefully for, for their career. So it's a really important aspect, but it's really competitive as well because other players from other areas now go to other franchises and the shared knowledge is immense, so it's, um, it's pretty cutthroat. See, Talaivar is now deciding to in the sense that he will give the list of uh, people whom he likes. But before that, he has a long chat with, uh, with Fleming. Fleming and uh, uh, Captain have the maximum <coughs> discussions before we zero in on any player. Of course, for the domestic players, we also give our inputs. But basically, the choice, the, the choice is with the captain. Talevan is now in the team. He is able to get the best out of them.